that wouldn't be good. Good morning, church. Good morning. God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. Let's try that one more time. God is good. All the time. And all the time. I love to praise him. I love to praise his name. I love to praise him. I love to praise his name. I love to praise him. I love to praise I love to praise Yeah. 
Dear Heavenly Father, the, the giver of every good and perfect gift. Heavenly Father, we come to you this, this morning. and Heavenly Father, we recognize your power this morning, Heavenly Father. Dear Lord. Heavenly Father, we recognize your power and, and sometimes, Heavenly Father, we take things for granted. And Heavenly Father, we think that there's this given, Heavenly Father, but everything that you do is miraculous, Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. Heavenly Father, like waking us up this morning, Heavenly Father, <coughs> understanding that there are those that didn't wake up this morning, Heavenly Father, and then there are those that opened up their eyes, but Heavenly Father, they couldn't move their legs, Heavenly Father, but you, you blessed us and you allowed us to come and to be here and to worship you in spirit and in truth. Yes. And Heavenly Father, help us to not take that for granted, Heavenly yeah. Father, that if this be the last time that we worship, Heavenly Father, that uh, we would be able to say that we gave you all that we had this morning, yeah. Heavenly Father. Now, Heavenly Father, we come to you this morning. And Heavenly Father, we, we lift up your our brother, uh, Brother John Elliott, yeah. this morning, Heavenly yeah. Father. And Heavenly Father, we understand that uh, some things have happened in Heavenly Father yeah. that man says things about the body, Heavenly Father, but we know that you are the doctor that's on the case, oh, we know. Heavenly Father. You've never lost a case, Heavenly we know, Father. Father. So we put it in your hands this morning, Heavenly yeah. Father. And even while he's not with us physically, Heavenly Father, we know that he's with us spiritually, Heavenly Father. So we ask that you bless him, bless his wife and his family and all those that care about him, Heavenly Father, that we continue to, to uh, communicate it to you, Heavenly Father, and lift him up, uh, Heavenly Father, and encourage him in, in all the ways that he, he needs it, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, we come and we're so thankful for uh, those that we have in the audience. Heavenly Father, we're thankful for our sister, uh, Sister Evans, that yeah. uh, we know has been under the weather and that has, has had things, but, but Heavenly Father, Father, we've been praying, and Heavenly Father, she is the evidence of the prayers coming back to us today, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, we don't take it for granted, Heavenly Father, because you didn't have to do anything, Heavenly Father, but you did. Heavenly Father, we lift up everybody under the sound of my voice this morning, Heavenly Father. And Heavenly Father, we all need you for one thing or another, Heavenly Father, and uh, we come and we ask things and, and that we're okay with. But, but Heavenly Father, even more than that, I ask you to bless us, Heavenly Father, in those dark places in our lives where it's just us and you, Heavenly Father. And, 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 and Heavenly Father, help us. Help us to, to trust you in yeah. those situations, Heavenly yeah. Father. Heavenly Father, we're always asking, Heavenly Father, but I'm asking something special today, Heavenly Father, that... Heavenly Father, that we rely on the Holy Spirit because sometimes you answer our prayers and we miss it, Heavenly Father. We, we miss it. But Heavenly Father, help us to be in tune to the Holy Spirit. Help us to have discernment, Heavenly Father. Help us to receive those blessings that are right in front of our face that sometimes we discredit because of the package it's in or who it comes from, Heavenly Father. My Lord. Heavenly Father, lift up your manservant this morning. Yeah. Brother Miles, Brother Matthew Miles Sr., pray, sir, pray. the angel that you sent to this, this congregation, Lord, mercy. Heavenly Father, we're grateful. bless him. Grateful. Bless him when he's away from the pulpit, Heavenly yeah. Father. Yeah. When you're giving him the vision, Heavenly Father. Yes, Lord. Heavenly Father, when he's pleading for somebody's soul and yeah. we just don't, don't listen, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, we know the man of God that stands before us is a, it's a tough task. And many of those men have bouts with depression and all kinds of things because they, they, they carry so much of the things that we have and we drop on them. Help him. Bless his wife. Because those things that he carries, she carries them too. God bless you. Help them, Heavenly Father. Help us, Jesus. Help them to, to lead us, Heavenly Father, according to your will. And then, Heavenly Father, bless us. 
as members in particular, Heavenly Father. Please, Lord. Heavenly Father, that we follow your word, Heavenly Father. And if we do that, Heavenly Father, we want to support those things that, that you have put on Brother Miles' heart. Heavenly Father, we ask that you bless us. Bless this community, Heavenly Father. Yeah. Heavenly Father, we know that every other day we hear something about violence and negativity, Heavenly Father, but help us to remember that you're still on the throne, Heavenly Father. And let us not walk in fear, Heavenly Father, but function in faith, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, bless this service today, Heavenly Father. And we just hope, trust, and pray that everything that we do is pleasing and acceptable in your sight. Heavenly Father, that's all we want. We want to serve you. And then one day, when this life is over, we should wear that crown of life. Heavenly yeah. Father. Yeah. That will be enough. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Powerful prayer this morning, yes, Brother John. Yes, sir. I'll fly away. Mm, one of these days. Mm. <laughs> Some glad morning when this life is over, you know I'll, I'll fly away <laughs> to love. Glory, I'll fly away. 
Oh 
up. God showed us last night, woke us up this morning, and he started us on our way. He put seeing in our eyes, hearing in our ears, speaking in our mouths, moving in our legs, blood in our veins, food on our table, clothes on our back, shoes on our feet. That's enough to give God some glory. And that's enough to give them some praise. Amen. Amen. Come on and say it like you mean it now. This is the Lord's house. This is the Lord's house. And I am his child. And I am his child. I have come for none other purpose. I have come for none other purpose. Than to worship him. Than to worship him. In spirit. In spirit. And in truth. And in truth. Because he is the creator. Because he is the creator. And I am the creature. And I am the creature. I will hear his word. I will hear his word. I will believe his word. I will believe his word. I will live his word. I will live his word. And I will share his word. I will share his word. Turn to your neighbor now. Give him a friendly smile and say, neighbor, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Come on now. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise and show some love to somebody this morning. Go ahead and show some love to somebody this morning. Brother Marcus, if you give it just a little more money, just a little more. It is so good to be here. That's right. It's good to see y'all loving on each other. Amen. I want to say it's good to see all of our family of visitors and friends. It's good to have you here this morning in the house of the Lord. And he is worthy of our praise. Good to see uh, Sister Jewel, Mom, and Dad are here with us today. Amen, amen. Good to see them, and we look forward to a wonderful dedication and celebration of a great milestone of Sister Jewel, a great accomplishment. And Jewel, we're so proud of you, and we're grateful to God for the blessings that he has given to you. Uh, thank you so very much. A little reverb off of that, Marcus. Uh, it is good to see all of you. Some I'm looking at have been ill, have been traveling, have not been with us. And it's good to see all of you back on today, Sister Martha. Good to see you in our presence on today. And then I see a special guest. Yes, and I sir. know she's special with somebody because he ain't sitting in his regular seat. Oh, Y'all ain't going to help me again. extra because he, he he gives us all every time he get up here. And we're, so thankful. We're, so, we're so thankful. God bless you. I look to hug you and meet you and give you my greetings. It's good to have you here. And as I said, it's so good to see each and every one of you here on this morning. And I don't say that as preacher rhetoric. I don't say it just as something to throw out or to fill in space. You know, the older I get, Sister Pam, the more I appreciate God and the blessings that he sent in my life, Adriana, through people, people who show their love to God and to me and to my wife, and I am grateful. I, I've always been a sentimental guy, but don't get that twisted. <laughs> Try to keep these pythons under these. <laughs> but I've always been a, a gentle man, an appreciative man of love and affection. I believe that because I had a loving mother, have a loving mother, and six sisters above me, uh, and so I was a man who's in a home filled of compassion. Yeah, filled of compassion. And I want to say to mothers who may be li listening in the cyber sanctuary, there's a difference between compassion and spoiling your, your men folk, your men children. Uh, we need to grow up men to be men. Uh, and that doesn't mean you don't cry. That doesn't mean none of that foolishness. It simply means that you have to be strong and you have to uh, have courage, but you also have to have compassion. And I'm thankful to God for my, my uh, awareness of my sensibility and my compassion for mankind. And so I thank you on behalf of Sister Miles and myself. I just, you know, you don't, you don't know what tomorrow may bring, so you need to tell people Amen. you love them Amen. and that you appreciate them while you can. Amen. 
As I do often, I want to share with the family just a few prayer requests uh, before we get into the message. I know y'all ready for the message, and, and I think y'all know me by now. I'm ready to get it. <laughs> and, uh, but we want to remember in our prayers our faithful servant of God, Brother John Elliott. Uh, last night, you know, we had the NAACP banquet on last night uh, where we were preparing to celebrate and to give honor and to acknowledgement to uh, many people. Uh, Brother John upstaged everything. And uh, he had a medical experience where he suffered a heart attack uh, in the foyer of the conference center. But thanks be to God. Thank God for medical science. Um, and uh, the ambulance was called. Sister Miles and I was just pulling up as it was occurring. Course, we took Sister Elliot, our loving dear sister, uh, took her to the hospital with Brother John uh, behind the ambulance, and uh, they got him stable. God came through. Amen. 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 He was resting quietly last night when Sister Miles and I left uh, and uh, spoke to Sister Elliot this morning. Uh, and he was uh, rested well through the night. He was alert, speaking. They had conversation. Uh, and so he's stable. And they have another 24 hours today. They're going to observe him. And if the uh, doctors uh, uh, see all things as, as fine as they're going now, he will be released on tomorrow. And so we're praying uh, that God will continue to keep Brother Elliot for many more years Amen. and give him strength because he is a great pillar to this church and to this community yeah. and to this community. So let's remember, uh, Brother Elliot, we want to remind you of no visitation at this time, but Sister Elliot is welcoming phone calls, uh, but no visitation at this time, and we will keep you abreast, and then I will send an update to Sister Iris, and she will send it out by email uh, to, to the congregation uh, on his um, uh, progression on today. Uh, Sister Miles and I, uh, we go and be with Sister Jewel. Uh, we're going to go and check on the family, and we will send an update out to everyone on this uh, afternoon, uh, early this evening. And then Brother Spence, we know uh, his seat is empty, Sister Kim's seat is empty. But I'm thankful for our members who are cautious and care enough for the family. Um, when they're not feeling well, um, they rather be cautious than not cautious. And so they're home, uh, not feeling their best today, but we're praying uh, that God will bless them. We know they're out there. We say we love you to the Spence family. Uh, we'll be praying for their healing. Then Brother Joe and Tyra, Brother Jalen and Sister Brianna are out of town and traveling. We're going to be praying for their safe return back home. Sister Sinclair, uh, Sister Stephanie brought Sister Sinclair back home. She's home resting this morning. They will be on the line. We say we love you, Sinclair, and to Stephanie, we love you guys, and we're praying for your complete healing. Then Brother Terry Sommer is asking prayers. Um, he's really wanting God to change his work schedule, so we're going to ask you all to pray Amen. for Brother Amen. Sommer, Amen. that God will hear that prayer and that he will be able to be with us. And then Sister Faith, uh, many of you know her from our Bible study, um, through the teaching of Sister Miles and my watering, uh, Sister Faith came to the Lord during the pandemic, and uh, I tried to get her to go to a local congregation there, but she's a sick woman. She um, um, has a hard time in her mobility, and she said, Brother Miles, I'm, I'm going to be a member with Central Point, mm -hmm. and uh, so we're going to pray that when God heal her body, uh, that he will continue to bless her, and then her daughter, Victoria, and her mother as well. Amen. I want to pray for uh, Mr. Nelson Evans, who is um, the father of some of our members uh, uh, here um, that we baptized here, uh, Sister Ashley and Brother Van uh, Jones, um, Sister Ashley's father. We want to pray for his healing mm -hmm. and that God will touch and heal his body. And then, of course, Brother Pugh is not here this morning. He's asking for prayer for him and his family. Pray for our dear sister in Christ, Sister Denise, a uh, longtime childhood friend of mine. I want to pray for her. And then Sister Evans is here just as sure as she can be. Amen. I want to pray that 
God will continue to bless her. Uh, Sister Pat Andrews is back home, uh, but she's not feeling her best. Mm -hmm. And I have a statement we'll read during the time of prayer. I'll read her statement to the church. Uh, and she's asked for prayer for her hands um, because she can't really write good. And that's why she sends her prayer by way of text message. So we will read that during the time of prayer and pray for Sister Pat Andrews. But she had an awesome time with her sister as they traveled and saw the glory of God uh, in their travel. Uh, good to see our new convert, Sister Felicia Cookman. Amen. My Amen. dear sweet sister. Amen. And, uh, and uh, we're praying for her and her family that God will bless them with favor in all things. Amen. Then keep the Jones family in your prayers for love and joy and peace financially. Then our dear brother Jarrell Smith, want to keep him in our prayers as well for the favor of God. And then continue to pray for this church. These men of God, these leaders that God has blessed you all with, blessed us with, are doing some fine job, uh, a fine job in the business of this church. And uh, we'll be preparing, Brother Jay, I'll be preparing an uh, announcement for you all to share with you all some of the accomplishments that we have made. Uh, but continue to pray for these great men of God Amen. and continue to play, pray for their lives. Will you bow with me now as we pray and prepare our hearts to receive the word of God? Our most holy and righteous Father, it is once again that we come before your mighty throne of grace. Thanking you, Lord, for every blessing that you have given us to this day. We honor you and we adore you for your forgiveness of our sins. We acknowledge that we are sinners, saved only by your matchless grace. And we say thank you. We're thankful for the Church of Christ and the salvation that you have placed therein in 2 Timothy 2 and verse number 10. Father, we're praying for unity and love among the body of the brotherhood. We pray that you will continue to expose every false teacher and open the blinded eyes of those who blindly follow. Father, we're praying this morning for those who we have placed before you by name. Lord, you know their situation. You know their cares and you know their concerns. Father, you even know the desires of their heart. And so, Father, we ask you, Father, that you will visit each individual in their own way. Where there's healing needed, we ask you to be a healer. Uh, where they need provisions, Lord, we ask you to provide their every need. Where there's a broken heart, we ask you to heal, Father. Where there's bereavement, we ask you to comfort and give strength. Where there is ignorance, we ask you to give wisdom and knowledge of your word. Where there is loss, we ask you to allow them to hear and believe in and obey your word that they might be eternally saved. Father, we pray now for the preaching of your word. I'm asking you now to hide me behind the cross. I'm asking you to defeat me when I'm wrong and to help me when I'm right. I'm asking you now to anoint my mind, my eyes, and my mouth that they will work together in unison, uh, that only your will will come forth now and that men's heart will be prepared to receive, that, that you will be honored, that some lost soul might be saved, the same might be edified, Satan might be terrified, and at the close of this day, the man of God will be encouraged. This is our prayer now. We ask in your holy son, Jesus' name. Let us all say amen. 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 This little light of man will Gonna let it shine. Oh, this little light of mine. You know that I'm gonna let it shine. Everywhere I go, oh, this little light of mine. Well, you know that I'm gonna let it shine. Well, let it shine. I let it shine. I let it shine. Start in my home. Yes, now even in my home. You In my home, you know that I'm gonna let it shine. Yeah, yeah, even in my home, you know I'm gonna let it shine. I'm gonna let it shine. I let it shine. I let it shine. How about your neighborhood? Yes, now even in my neighborhood, you know that I'm gonna let it shine. Yes, even in my name. 
for reading in our hearings Matthew chapter 25 if you come there with me once again Matthew chapter 25 and for emphasis sake we're going to read verse 24 and verse 30 from the New Living Translation I want to thank Brother Jay again for leading us uh, and then thank Brother Marcus for that fine prayer then the servant with the one bag of silver came and said Master Listen to what he said, Nick. Listen to what this, listen to what this servant had to mitigate it gall. And that's just a two dollar word that means nerve. He had the nerve to say to the Lord, Master, I knew you were a harsh man. Harvesting crops. Listen to what he's leveraging against God. Harvesting crops you didn't plant. Now you know God is God. Because uh -huh. right. David, if that had been me, Lord. my indignation oh, Lord. would have provoked me to want to slap the taste out of his mouth. Uh -huh. See, y'all sit there for me all you want. I'm just keeping it real. Uh -huh. Don't sit there and act like you don't get upset. Uh -huh. Some of y'all don't only get upset and want to do. Some of y'all get upset and do. <laughs> and say. <laughs> Thank you, Irish. But he said, Sierra, he said to the Lord, Selena, harvest, this is what he accused you. Harvest crops you didn't plant. And gathering crops 
you didn't cultivate. Boy, that's making me angry right now. He said, I was afraid. Watch his lie. Listen to his lie. I was afraid. And I'm going to prove to you from the text it's a lie. Because I know some of y'all read. But my, how do you know he was lying? You should study like me and you'll know he lying. <laughs> I was afraid I would lose your money. So I hid it in the earth. Look, here it is. Here it is your money back. Sensational Saints, in an attempt, in an attempt to close out this protective presentation of this prophetic pericope, I want to give you the first observation of five this morning. And the observation this morning uh, is entitled, Don't Talk About Him if you don't know about him. Amen. Don't talk about him, God, if you don't know about him. Anybody ever hated, anybody hated him being lied on? Mm -hmm. Am I talking to the right crowd this morning, Sister yeah. Rose? Do you, how, what, how do you feel when somebody lies on you? Saturated saints, put your spiritual walking shoes on with me for just a moment as we travel this road of, of information that can bless us and help us not to find ourselves in the condition that this so-called servant was in. Brother Marcus, I have discovered, Brother George, that man will not only make excuses, Brother Jay, when he fails to do what the master expects of him. But Sister Jewel, a servant, a steward, Sister Goodman, Sister Miles, a so-called believer, will not only lie, Sister Tamika, to the Lord, but he'll lie on the Lord. Y'all yeah, yeah. ain't gonna help me here. You see, this servant... Watch this, watch this, Selena. He was loved by God. Right. Uh, Sister Pat, uh, uh, Sister Pam, this servant was called by God. This servant uh, was included by God. This servant was gifted by God. Does it sound familiar yet to anybody? Uh, this servant was equipped by God. He was empowered, Brother George, by God. This servant was, he was entrusted by God with God's money. This servant was given a chance by God. Am I close to being right this morning? Yeah, yeah. He, he was given a chance to prove his love for God. He was given a chance to prove his appreciation for God. He was given a chance to prove his commitment yeah. to God. He was given a chance to prove his workmanship to God. He was given a chance to prove his faith to God. He was given a chance to prove his life's worship. I'm not talking about what you do when you come in the sanctuary, right? I'm talking about what you do when you're outside the sanctuary. Sister Evans, they, God gave him a chance to prove his life worship to God. He was given a chance, Selena, to prove his stewardship to God Almighty. Instead of this blessed, anointed, anointed servant who had been gifted by God, entrusted by God, faithfully working for God, instead of him being faithful, he lied on God and he lied to God. Y'all yeah. ain't gonna help me here. I know he lied. And he knew he was lying when he lied to the Lord. I know he lied because he knew God. If he didn't know God, God would have never entrusted him with some blessings. That's right. Y'all ain't gonna help me here. Right. You ought to understand and you ought to know that if you have been receiving blessings from God, yeah. it's an indication that God knows you. 
Natural tape, he might be trying to get a little closer to you, but he's observing you to see how you're handling what he's already given you. I know he lied, Sierra, because he had a relationship with God. Tamika, is there anybody here who knows that God knows who you are? Yeah. Is there anybody here that knows that God knows the very secrets of your heart? Is there anybody here in this private saint sanctuary of God? Is there anybody here that understands that? And knows the omniscient wisdom of God that he even knows the very numbers of hairs on your head. Uh -huh. That's what the Bible says. Yes, and sister girl, even when you try to add to it, he still knows the real number from y'all ain't gonna help me. Uh -huh. Brother man, when we start losing our hair, uh -huh. he still knows the number of the follicles even the dead follicles that's in your head. Do you hear what I hear this morning? This dishonest servant lied. Yes, he did. But listen to the lies that he told on God. Uh -huh. You see, it's one thing to lie. But it's a danger thing to lie on the Lord. Uh -huh. This lying servant accused God of being harsh. This word harsh, uh, scal scleros is the word scleros. And this Greek term means rough. It also means violent. Mm -hmm. It means stern. Hard. Stiff, stubborn. Uh -huh. Watch this. Describing him of someone who won't budge or bend. Uh -huh. Is there anybody here today that will stand up and testify for the Lord? Uh -huh. Is there anybody here that will be a character witness for God? Yes, sir. I know this servant is a lying wonder. Because our God is not only a God who will be, uh -huh. but he is a merciful God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Way, way, way back in the dawning of time, uh -huh. in a place called Eden, he told man, he told man his most precious creation, that if you eat of the tree of knowledge, uh -huh. you will Surely die. Yeah. Didn't he do it, church? Yeah. That's what the records say. Am I close to being right? Uh -huh. yeah. But the mighty and matchless, merciful God that you and I serve this morning, he not only buzzed, Jay, he not only yielded, Marcus, but we saw God who was very merciful. I wish I had some help in here. Uh -huh. I said he was merciful. Our God gave him Another chance. Am I right about it? Uh -huh. You remember a servant by the name of Peter who too lied on Jesus and lied about Jesus. Y'all remember, don't you? Yes, sir. Uh, but the Bible says in Revelation chapter 21 and verse number 8 that all liars shall have their part in the lake with burning with fire and brimstone. Uh -huh. Watch this. Which is the second death. But how many of you know in this holy sanctuary that God gave Peter, great God Almighty, he gave Peter another chance. Y'all sitting there with your halos on, y'all should be shouting all over this building uh -huh. because not only does Peter know about a second chance, yeah. everybody's sitting in here. If you be honest about it, you know that God is a God of another chance. And it was, and, it, and it, it just wasn't another chance. But on the first Pentecost, after the resurrection of Jesus, God used Peter to preach the first gospel sermon, opening the doors of the church 
to both Jew and Gentiles. Aren't we serving a great God this morning? You cussed him. You lied about having affiliation with him. You even lied about even knowing him. But God didn't forget you. He knew you were a sinner. He knew you were fallible. He knew you could fall. When Peter lied, God was looking right at him and listening to him. He didn't need a report from any other body standing around. He heard him lying for himself. But he's a God of another chance. Preach the first gospel sermon. 3,000 folk added to the church. We serve a God of another, another chance. Didn't I tell you this ungrateful servant was a lying wonder? Saturated saints, look again quickly at the ancient text. Matthew 25 and verse 24. This lying servant declared that this master God was harsh. He said harvesting crops where you didn't plant and gathering crops that you didn't cultivate. Okay. But if you look into God's resume, the record still declares, Sister Evans, in Genesis chapter 1, you ain't got to go far, David. And verse number 1, the Bible still says, God created the heavens and the earth. Am I right about it? Isn't that in your Bible, church? Yeah. God created the heavens and the earth. The record still says, Brother George, in Psalms 24, verse 1 through 3, can I let it preach all by itself? He said, uh, Psalm of David, the earth is the Lord and everything in it. Yes, the world and all of its people belong to God. Am I right about it? For he laid the earth's foundation yeah. on the seas and built it on the ocean depths. Uh -huh. Y'all don't know in a shout. Yes, who he who climbed the mountain of the Lord. Who may stand in his holy place. You see if, if there anybody here that knows that there would be no rain. If there was no God. There would be no ground to receive the rain. If it wasn't for God. There would be no seed to be planted in the ground. If it wasn't for God, there would be no man uh, to plant the seed in the ground. If it wasn't for God, no God, no harvest. No God, no corn. No God, no wheat. No God, no bread. No God, no black apple. Y'all ain't going to help me here. No God, no crowd of peas. No God, no beans. No God, no ham. Y'all ain't going to help me here. No God, no cotton. No cotton, no fabric. No fabric, no clothes. You got to buy it. And if it wasn't no clothes, there will be a lot of embarrassing people around here. Y'all ain't going to help me here. How dare you say that he did not crop, plant, where he, where he weeped. God owns everything. How dare you accuse God. Of not planting a harvest. Uh -huh. God is the designer Amen. and the architect. Y'all better get in where you can fit in because I'm closing. Yes, sir. He is the designer and architect yes, sir. of the science of horticulture, uh -huh. yeah. the art, Brother Jay, of, and the practice of gardening, cultivation, uh -huh. and management. Uh -huh. As I go to my seat, before I bid you a good evening. Quickly come with me now to verse 25 of Matthew 25. What the Bible says, this lion wonder says, I was afraid I would lose your money. Uh -huh. So I hid it in the earth. Uh -huh. Look, here he is, your money back. This servant declares, Sister Miles, that he was afraid. Uh -huh. This term afraid, 5399 is the strong reference number. And the word here is phobio. Uh -huh. It's what we get our word phobia. 
It's folio. And watch this, David. I know he's a lying one. When he said he was afraid, he said, I was phobia. Well, phobia means to be put to flight. Uh -huh. It means to be so scared and frightened that you flee. Uh -huh. Y'all ain't gonna help me here. It means, Sister Rose, that you withdraw from and go the other way. Yes, sir. Wait one Holy Ghost minute. This verb suggests that this was a fear that should have caused him, David, Adriana, to withdraw, flee, and run away. Yes, sir. Sensational saints. I got one question for this line wonder on the way to my seat. I got one question. Where were you? And why were you present uh -huh. when the master showed up? Yes, sir. If you were so-called afraid, yeah. why wasn't you somewhere hiding uh, under a bush? Why wasn't you somewhere hiding uh, in a cave? Uh -huh. Y'all ain't gonna help me here. Uh -huh. Why were you there if you were so afraid? I'll tell you why. He didn't withdraw. I'll tell you why as I go to my seat, uh, why he did not flee or run away. Because he wasn't fearful. No, no, no. He wasn't fearful. Yes, sir. And he was not afraid. Like he said. Because if he was afraid, he would have ran away and would not have been present when God came for an accounting. Uh-huh. But Sister Iris, he was not afraid. He was just downright lazy. Uh-huh. Y'all ain't gonna help me here. Uh-huh. I know if you got a good Christian mama and daddy. They done told you laziness yeah. is a sin. Yeah. Am I right about it? Uh -huh. It wasn't only a sin in my daddy's house, Lord. but it called for punishment. Yeah. Yeah. God gonna help me. Uh -huh. He had something that'll wake you up out of your laziness. Yes, he had something that'll put moving in your feet uh -huh. and ability in your hand. Am I right about it? <laughs> this servant was not fearful. But he, he was lazy. God loved him, but he was lazy. God gave to him, but he didn't give a care about God. God provided, but he was passive. God delivered, but he was dull. God invested in him, but he was unattentive to God. God leveraged him with gifts and talents, but he was lackadaisical about the will, the work of God. I got a question for you. As I go to my seat this morning, what will you do with what God has given you. You need to understand when God come back for his accounting, he's not going to accept your excuses. You can make up the biggest lie you want. And I tell you already, your preacher don't waste time arguing with you over your excuses. I just simply say, okay. I say, God bless you. I'm praying for you. But how many of you know there's coming a day when God is going to ask for you to give an answer and he's not going to accept any of your excuses. We're so dedicated and committed to everything else except God and his work. You go to work, you go on vacation, not feeling well, but you come up with an excuse every time it's time to do something for the Lord. Uh -huh. You give all of your talent to your profession and your career and ain't doing nothing in the kingdom of God. Uh -huh. And you think he approves? Lord. What you living on is grace. You're living on grace, not the approval of God. Because he didn't say, and don't you dare call me a judge, because I am not a judge. I am a gospel preacher and evangelist that is called to give the message to a dying world. Uh -huh. I only tell you what God has said. 
If you don't get right and start giving right of your time, of your talents, and let me stop saying treasure because some of that just go over your head. Your money. <laughs> some of you, I'm telling you, listen to me. I'm crying out. I'm begging you and getting you to understand there's going to be an accounting day. Jesus, good God Almighty. Stand up on your feet. Stand on your feet. <laughs> next week, next week. God be my helper. Number two, the master don't expect you to talk about it. He wants you to be about it. Amen. All right. Amen. I'm trying to warn you and I'm trying to tell you now that he's coming back. Amen. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. But he is coming back. And just like me, see, I, I'm like Paul. I, I try to give you what God has given me. Uh-huh. And when Brother Miles tell you something, you better know I got some Bible to back it up. I don't, I don't preach my opinions. I don't care how much something you're doing may get on my nerve. I don't preach my opinion. Because I have a great condemnation waiting for me if I do that. I'm trying to get you to understand that we are not just called here to, for Brother Jay to lead us in song to make us feel good and make us shout, make us stand up. That's not why we're just here. Yeah. Amen. Amen. We're not just here to commemorate the Lord in communion. That's not why we're just here. Uh -huh. Listen, church, we are called as stewards. Mm -hmm. And I tell you, I've been telling you this now for nine weeks, that listen, everything God blesses us with is not for for ourselves. Uh -huh. right. Right. He wants to see what are you going to do with it? Uh -huh. yeah. What are you going right. to do with it? Yeah. That's the question. Because yeah. he's coming again. Yeah. And he ain't going to take no excuses. Yeah. Right. All that stuff you be talking. Mm -hmm. yeah. should, sometimes y'all should say, I can't, wait to, I can't wait to send back the praying hands. <laughs> get it off my phone. <laughs> Just get it off my phone. <laughs> Dead and gone. Some of you may still be here. And you will hear these words ringing in your ears. That he's coming again. And he's not coming just to say hello. He's coming in that judgment. And he's going to want to know, no matter how little he gave you, no matter how much, matters is what did you do with it yeah. Yeah. that's what he wants to know turn to somebody and tell them don't lie, don't don't lie. lie. Don't lie. Don't lie. tell somebody on the other side don't lie, don't lie. lie. to the Lord, to the Lord. To the Lord. Now look this way because he already knows yeah. and it's a dangerous thing to lie already don't y'all know it's dangerous to lie to your wife don't you know it's dangerous to lie to your husband? Y'all ain't saying nothing. Amen. <laughs> but I'm telling you, it's a whole nother danger to lie to the Lord. Yeah. I commend you to God in the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and give you an inheritance among the sanctified. Don't talk about it unless you know about it. Amen. We're going to sing a song this morning for invitation. Old song, Brother J. Our God, He is alive. Amen. How many of you know the Lord is alive? Amen. He's alive and He's coming again. If you Amen. need to be saved this morning from your sins, the Bible says that God has a plan of redemption for man. In Matthew chapter 11, verse 28 through 30, He says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I'm meek, lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your soul. He says, my yoke is easy, and my burdens are light. That's his invitation. Mm -hmm. Now, his response to that invitation is that you hear what he says, Mark 12, 29. That you believe it, Hebrews 11 and 6. Mm -hmm. That you repent of your sins, Luke 13, 3 and 5. That you confess Christ to be the Son of God, Matthew 10, 32 and 33. 
and then that you be buried in the watery grave of baptism for the remission of sin. Behind these curtains, there's a pool with water waiting to baptize you for the remission of your sins. And the Bible says in Galatians 3, 27, that we'll place into Christ through baptism. Acts chapter 2, uh, I'm sorry, 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse number 10, the Bible says salvation is in Christ. That's why you have to be baptized in Christ to come into contact with salvation. The word there is soteria. It means to be rescued from sin. And so if you're going to be rescued from sin, you have to be baptized into Christ. Now when you're baptized into Christ, that's being baptized into his body. Ephesians chapter 1, 22 and 23, he had made him to be head over all things to the church, the definite article, not a, not one of, but the church. That's what the Bible says. Have given him to be head over to the church, which is his body. Paul writes again in Ephesians chapter 4 and 4 that there is only one body. Amen. If the body is the church and the church is the body, Amen. when he says there's one body, he says there's one church. Amen. Who? How do you know when you're in the right church? Check out who the head is. Amen. If these people are telling you Reverend so-and-so was is the founding pastor of our church, Amen. Reverend Sister so-and-so is the founding that ain't the Lord's church. Amen. Because not only is he the head, Colossians 1.18, Acts 20.28 20, says he purchased it with his blood. Amen. When did he shed his blood? Amen. Out on a hill called Calvary. Right. When he pissed him in his side, forthwith came blood and water. Mm -hmm. Show me the man who was pissed in his side, buried on a Friday, right. got up on Saturday with all power over hell, sin, and the grave. Show me that man, and I'll be a member of his church. Because that's the only church that has salvation in it. It takes more than a name. Church of Christ is not what saves you. That's what the saved is. Because that's what he puts us in. <laughs> he adds us to his church. Acts 2. Verse 41 and verse 47. If you need prayer today, fill out a prayer request for you. Let us pray for you. We got clothes waiting for you for baptism. Heaven is waiting, Luke 15, 7 and 10, to rejoice over your repentance. Will you come today? Our God, he is alive. There is beyond the age of blue.
church's prayers as things have been a little rough on us with our financing and finding a new apartment. But on the upper hand, praying that everything goes well, an interview I have at Rivian tomorrow. Amen. God is good. And I will continue to pray and thank him for what he has done. Amen. God bless you, George. Praying for you and your family. Sister Cherish Brown, letting a lot of things take my concentration off the things that is most important. Amen. I want prayer for housing. I see no, no matter where you go, you have to fight. So as long as I'm in the state and I keep believing God has got my back. Amen. Keep on believing because he's got it. Amen. With no with no strings attached. God's got my back with no strings attached. Amen. Amen. I know you're right. I want to pray that she will have a clear mind. That she will remain focused and have peace. Amen. There's a lady that used to be in her old church. But she has a problem with speaking out. I never noticed it. But she said that her church doesn't pick her up. 
she feels they treat her like a contest. I'm sorry. Badly, thank you. I wanted to invite her, but don't really know the outcome. We'll be talking with you about that, Sister Cherish. We're going to be praying for you. Amen. Sister Fields, good morning, family. I want to thank the Lord for allowing me to see another day in good health and strength. I am asking for prayers for my walk with Christ. As I get closer to Jesus, I notice the things I do that are not pleasing to him, and I don't want to continue to hurt him. I want to please him and not myself. So I am asking that God sends young believers my way so I can be around like-minded young adults. Amen. Also praying for a mentor that is in the Lord's church to take me under their wing and help me grow. Let me press up on your hearts one more time, church. Mm. Praying for a mentor that's in the Lord's church to take me under their wings and help me to grow. Thank you, family. God bless you, Sister Seal. And we'll be praying for you. Sister Faith, uh, online, she sent me a text. Thank you for this word this morning. We're thanking God for Sister Faye and thanking God for blessings for her family. I want to share with you Sister Pat Andrews' statement. She says, hello church. My sister and I had the most amazing journey through the northwestern states. We saw some many works, some many wonderful works in God's hand. I want to thank God safe travels and allowing me this time with my sister. I tripped over something getting into bed last night and fell on my knee and I will be staying in today and watching online. Since my return I've had an EMG and an MRI to determine the issues with my hand. I'll see the neurologist newer surgeon, excuse me, on tomorrow. I'm asking for prayer that this tissue can be fixed, excuse me, that this issue can be fixed, and I'll be able to use my hand again. Also prayers for my granddaughter, Haley, who is due to give birth in about two weeks. Prayers for a safe delivery and healthy mother and baby. I've missed y'all, and with God's grace, we'll see y'all next week. Amen. Amen. Let's prepare our hearts and prepare our minds for prayer. God, our Father, we come once again thanking you, Lord, for this day. And we thank you, Father, for all blessings of life, for our health and for our strength. Father, we're humbled by your mercy and your grace and your forgiveness. We're thankful for the word that has gone forth this morning. It's our sincere prayer that has stirred the hearts of those who shall hear now and later. And that it will bring them in direct confrontation with your word. That they will take their behavior and align it alongside of your word. And Father, if there's need of repentance, need of readjustment, that they will do so without hesitation. Father, we're praying this morning for Sister Sierra Field. She come thank you, Father, for all blessings that you've given to her and her family, for her health, for her strength, Lord. She's praying for her church family. Father, she's thankful for you allowing her to come closer to you as she has thus far. But Father, she's also praying that she will continue uh, to examine herself, and that she will become closer to you then her, her heart desire, Father, is to never hurt you, but to please you. Father, she's asking for like-minded individuals, associates, who will be a part of her life that can help her to stay strong. She's also praying, Father, for a mentor from right here among her family members that can take her under their wing and that can help her to grow. Father, we ask you to bless Sister Sierra with the desires of our heart according to your will and according to your purpose. Mm -hmm. We're 
we're praying for Sister Cherish this morning, Sister Cherish Brown. Father, she has allowed many things to come in her way. But Father, we know you have the power to help her to take every stumbling block as a stepping stone that each stone will elevate her higher and closer unto thee. Father, we're praying this morning that you will keep her strong, that you will bless her with a wonderful home, a place of abode, a place of comfort, a place of strength, protection, shelter. Father, we're praying this morning that you will keep her mind clear, keep her focused, bless her with love, joy, peace, good health, and prosperity. We're praying for the individual whom she's brought before you this morning, who feel abandoned by her church. And Father, although Sister Brown don't know the entire situation, so Father, her heart and her have, has been concerned, made concern for this woman. So Father, we are praying that you will bless me as a minister, as a Christian, uh, that I can partner with Sister Brown and, and that we perhaps can do whatever we can to reach out to this soul, uh, that she might uh, hear truth, obey truth, and even become a part of this great family. Father, we're praying this morning uh, for Brother Jorte Pfeiffer and his entire family, that you continue to bless them, Lord, in every way they stand in need of. Bless them, Father, mentally, emotionally, physically, financially, and spiritually, Father. Father, we ask you to bless his business, that it will grow beyond measure and beyond, beyond his own expert expectations. Bless them as they search for a new home for their family. Give them favor, Father. Father, we're praying for his interview on tomorrow. Father, we're praying that you will grant him the favor that if it is for him, that he will receive it, that he will glorify you in it, that he will honor you by being on time, by being faithful, dedicated, committed, and showing and letting his light shine, Father. So we just ask you to continue to bless his young family, Father, and all that they stand in need of. Father, then we're praying for Sister Felicia Goodman coming before you, Father, lifting up Jeremy, Jada, and Giselle. Father, lifting up her husband, lifting her up before you, her parents, Father, her family. Father, you know what they all stand in need of. Bless them, Lord, with love, joy, peace, good health, and prosperity. Bless them with a sound mind, protection, and provision, Father. Bless Sister Goodman that she will be an example to her family, that she will allow her light to shine, that she will study your word, feed her faith and starve her doubts. Give her strength, give her favor, give her victory over every challenge in her life. We're praying this morning for Sister Faith and uh, her daughter, Father, her grand and her mother. Father, all of those who we brought before you uh, ahead of time this morning, you know who they are. Those who need healing, Father. Those who need a financial blessing those who need your presence in their life, those who need peace, uh, those who need traveling grace, we just ask you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, that you will deliver, restore, and heal. We pray a very special prayer now for our brother John uh, Elliot. Father, we're asking you in the mighty name of Jesus to continue to mend his heart, continue to make his heart stronger uh, hour by hour, day by day. Keep Sister Maddie in your care. Give her strength. Give her restful nights and peaceful days. Bless his children, Father, that all will be well. Father, we're praying now for Sister Pat Andrews. Father, we're praying and we're thanking you for the traveling grace you've given her. We're praying now for Sister Andrews' health, for her hand in particular, that you will bless, that you will heal, that you will restore. Give her back the proper use of her hand. We're praying, Father, that you will bless her granddaughter, Haley, mm -hmm. and the baby, that she will uh, continue to have a great carry for them, Father, on the day of delivery, that all will go well for both the child and the mother, that they will live a long life together, they will love each other. And now, Father, I'm asking you to continue to be with your manservant and all the leaders and members of this church, mm -hmm. Father, that we will all continue to bind together, that we will honor you with our time, our talent, and our treasure, that you might receive all the glory, that we might be encouraged, and the lost might be saved. It is our prayer now, Father, we ask that when it's yours to call and our answer, 
We ask for a peaceful hour and death, trusting that he you say well done on that other side of this journey. And we ask it all by faith. It's in the mighty name of Jesus we pray. Let us all say amen. 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 Did you receive the word this morning? Yes. God bless you. I love you. There's nothing you can do about it. Continue to pray for me as I pray for you. Now, let us prepare our hearts and prepare our minds for a very special part of our service where we honor God and remember the sacrifice that he made. And as we prepare with joy to give back to him as he has given to us. God bless you. Church, afternoon. Wonderful sermon by our pastor. God bless you. God bless you. Wonderful singing by our our song leader, Brother Jay, earlier. It's been a wonderful service um, up to this point. Yes, sir. I'm here before you uh, for our to commemorate the life and death of our Lord and Savior. Yes, sir. Um, we want to take this time to give, take this time to remember and thank God and Jesus for their love and for, for God's love for us all and for Jesus' faithfulness to God's will. Amen. Amen. The Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son That's what he did. to die for the sins of, of, of the world. Mm -hmm. um, there's a song that says, he was born into sin that we may live again. Yeah. He is the precious Lamb of God. Yeah. With that in mind, let us go to uh, God in prayer. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for, for this day. We thank you for allowing us to be here to, to commune with you and to commune with, with Jesus and commune with everyone that has assembled today. We ask that you bless this bread as it represents the body of our, of our Lord and Savior. Jesus. And bless this cup as it represents the blood that he shed for the remission of our sins. We ask all of this in his holy name. His holy name. Amen.
we will commemorate the offering of giving back to the Lord. We want to say thank you to him for all the things that he's blessed us with. Amen. Uh, keeping us through this week, allow, um, not letting any, any hurt, harm, or danger come our way. And, and also, just for the, 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 the little things, um, even though, like I said, you know, we all would like more money in our, in our, in our bank account. We all right. would like a bigger house. We all would right. like more things. But we, we should be grateful for the, for the things that we have. Yeah. Um, right. And yeah. as, as, as our pastor said, everything is, is the Lord. The, yes, the air we breathe, the, the grass that we, we walk on, the, the food that we eat, the clothes that are on yeah. our back, it all, it all comes from him. Yeah. So we should uh, just be thankful for the things that we do have. That's right. And as he said, uh, try to try to be better stewards of what what we do have, and then the Lord will bless us with more. Yeah. Um, let us go to, to God in prayer. God bless you. Our Father in heaven. Again, we just want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you for for keeping us safe. Thank you for providing providing for us. Thank you for watching over us. Thank you for allowing us to be here. Thank you yeah. for our job. Thank you for our family. Thank you, Thank you for our friends. Thank you. Thank you for everything, Lord. Mm -hmm. We ask that the, the funds that are given back to you, Lord, we ask that you that you lift them up, that you that you allow them to overflow. Yeah. That you allow blessings, prosperity, peace, joy, all of all of those things that that that, that, that are that are in you. We, we ask that, that you bless us with that and allow us to not only not only enjoy that for ourselves, but enjoy it, but uh, give back to, to someone else so they can enjoy yeah. it and they can give yeah. back to another, each one teach one. Yeah. We ask all of these things in your son's name. Amen. 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 Shannon was showing out this morning, but what's your, what's your, what's your excuse, huh? Huh? The Lord is good. No, all kidding aside, I love to see my brothers and sisters happy. Amen. And I love to see them let God use them. That's right. That's, right. that's, uh, that's a blessing. So, again, we appreciate everything that has been done in the worship service today. Amen. This week's announcements, um, weekly Bible study on Zoom. We're looking forward to another great uh, class. Yes, uh, and uh, again, that's every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. uh, you can access that through the, the Zoom link, um, or you can, uh, um, it's also broadcast on Facebook and on our, our website. Uh, Lady Zoom Fellowship, the ladies' uh, uh, Zoom class, Living as God's Kingdom Woman, will be today at 5 p.m. Uh, please plan to attend uh, via the Zoom, the Zoom link. Ladies' Prayer and Devotion, mark your calendars for, the, uh, for Thursday, uh, September 28th at 6.30. Um, it's it's a, a great opportunity for prayer. Um, um, you can also pass that information on to someone else to attend along with you. Men's training. We have men's training uh, that's coming up uh, October 7th uh, here at the building at 10 a.m. We won't hold you long, but um, definitely want to uh, get some men into um, working in other parts of the service. Uh, so uh, make sure that you're here. Um, you know, and anything that you see anybody is doing in the worship service, everybody had a first time, mm -hmm. all right? And we're there to encourage and support and to uh, to, to help in any way and, uh, in, in getting you the opportunity to work in the worship service, which is a privilege. Um, also, DLT breakfast, Brothers Let's Talk. Um, that will be uh, 
Saturday, uh, October the 14th here at the building at uh, 10 a.m. Uh, you can show up early and help uh, with the cooking. If you can cook, uh, <laughs> or, or tell us that you need some help learning, uh, and, you know, or something like that. But don't come, don't say I can, I can, I can cook, and uh, you know, don't, don't, don't do that. So, but we have a good time. Yes, we it's, have. It's, uh, the breakfast is great, but the sharing that we have, um, and everybody has something to offer from the. the the youngest man to the uh, to the more seasoned uh, man has has something to share, and it's interesting seeing the different perspectives. So come and, and be a part of that. Um, Levi Kennedy Memorial Scholarship Banquet um, is coming up. Um, that is Saturday the 14th um, at uh, 12 p.m. to 4 at the Hilton uh, in the Chicago Oak Lawn. And uh, the, the ticket costs are um, $65 uh, for adults and youth under $12, $35. And again, this is goes towards uh, scholarships. And if you have questions about that, for tickets, see Brother or Sister Mod or donations. Uh, CP prayer request, uh, please submit your prayer request to our uh, Central Point Prayer email, cpcocilpray at gmail.com. We'll be glad to uh, pray for you and can also pass it on to somebody else that is in need of prayer. Uh, giving options, uh, you, you see, uh, that are there uh, as far as online, um, and you also can, can give in the worship. Uh, Central Point Prayer Request Line, 6.30 a.m., uh, Monday through Friday. It's a great way uh, to start your day so you can have that strength that you need when you go to face those people that, that are going to come at you at your job on Monday. They're always waiting for you. You know that. So oh, yes. uh, it's a great way to start the day. Uh, prayer list. Uh, be in prayer uh, for uh, individuals that uh, are on our list as well as those that you have heard during the worship service that uh, you know, have requested, requested prayer. Uh, but our prayer list today, uh, Dr. Opie Mile, which is the mother of Brother Mile, the Hallman family, uh, AJS Management Logistics Incorporated, um, Cliff Pugh and family, Brother Matthew and, and Sister Ramona Miles, uh, Miss Gloria Bolton, the Canning family, Stephen Black and family, G and Gypsy and David Jones. Um, September uh, birthdays. Um, the we had uh, Jalen Webster uh, Jr. on the twenty second, and Jalen Webster uh, Senior on the twenty third. Nick Kett has a birthday on the twenty uh, fifth. All right, and we also had an anniversary uh, on the twentieth. Kim and Hollis Spence. All right. All right. I think that it concludes everything, and I'll turn it over to Brother Mike. Thank you so much, Brother Johnson. Oh, I promised y'all I would show y'all my book. Ain't that beautiful? Aww. That is beautiful. And it will be you. I already got about, about nine of them, and they all got some in them. So we're thankful. We're thankful. I'm so thankful for that gift. I'm standing this morning right now at this moment to welcome our wonderful visitors and our friends. As Brother Spence often says, only one time are you a visitor. And after that, you are then family and friend. So we're grateful for your presence today. Miss Lisa Neal is with us today, a guest of Brother Jay. Miss Neal, good to have you. Have a good day. God bless you. And Miss Neal, you look real good sitting right there. No, no. You look real good. We welcome you this morning. We're so grateful for you being here. Uh, Sister Jewel, I know she's happy this morning. Got a beautiful parents with us this morning. Y'all got anything y'all want to say? It's been a blessing. Amen. It's been a blessing to have you. God bless you. We're so thankful to have your daughter, Jewel, uh, and to be a part.
are this family is so grateful. All right, uh, listen, Miss Neal, there's a gift we want to give you that you won't receive anywhere else in this town, anywhere near this place, because there is no place like this place. And so here's our gift to you for being here with us today. We thank you for visiting us at the Central Park Church of Christ. Oh, we're so glad, we're so glad that you came today to the Central Park Church of Christ. Sister Dolly, her father, is improving very well, and we want to continue to keep him in our prayers um, that God will continue to heal his body. Amen. So we're going to be standing now, getting ready to go home, uh, and uh, uh, we want to be praying uh, for each other. You going to pray for me? Yes, sir. Because I'm going to pray for you. I'll pray for you. Will you pray for me? God, bear all the